got another X and Y Y-Fail battle for you guys. Still got the same team. I got the same team for two more battles after this one. This is a guy that's the subscriber called Chris on here. I seriously can't remember the name again. I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, this match was pretty much just a slugfest. It was who can hit the other guy harder match, pretty much. He's got a lot of big hitters on the team, but he's got a lot of dark Pokemon as well, pretty much. He's got a lot of dark, he's got a lot of physical as well. I mean, he's got four physical Pokemon on the team, one special. And I just I, I just don't like teams like that. I can't get along with teams like that. I feel like I have to have half special, half physical. I have to have three special hitters, three physical hitters. Sometimes four and two. But I can never do five and one. That's ridiculous. But anyway, he starts off with the Greninja. I start off with my Mega Manetric. As I go straight for it there. I just realised it's a female. Not that it matters, but I only just realised... Anyway, Mega Man Electric comes out, Intimidate on this Greninja as he's flapping his tongue away. Goes for the Extra Sensory to take him out of being a water type. Smart move there. Extra Sensory is always going to do decent damage as well. I go for the Volt Switch though, because if he stayed a water type, Volt Switch would have done good, would have killed him. Even though he switched the Psychic there, Volt Switch done good damage. So, either way, Greninja's just so frail. He's just like a piece of glass. I bring in Crobat, knowing Crobat outspeeds Greninja, you turn that shit, down goes Greninja, especially after he became a psychic off of that protein. Ah, oh, it works against you sometimes as well. So as I U turned out, I have to switch in someone who gets to see who it is. I go for the Chestnut, just because, you know, Chestnut's always a good Pokemon to go into. He starts off with the Marwell, gets Intimidate. I know this is his Mega because it's the only Pokemon on his team that can go Mega. So I know for a fact this is his Mega Pokemon. And I'm not a fan of Mega Marwile at all. I don't like it. I don't like to use it. I don't like the look of it. I don't like anything about it. So I went for Leech Seed there. Honestly, I don't need Chestnut for much in this match. So he was just in for a switching fodder, pretty much. But he took the play rough pretty well. From a huge power play rough stab Mar Mega Marwile, he took play rough pretty well. Didn't even knock him down to red health. The power of Chestnut is too freaking real, guys. So I go for a spiky shield there, thinking he's going to go for the kill. He does. He went for Iron Head, so I don't think that would have killed me anyway. He gets hurt by the spiky shield, and the Leech Seed comes out. So I get that back as I make my arms into some weird flat piece of grass. I have no idea what he does with his arms there. But he's down to half health now, pretty much. I go for Brick Break. That does neutral damage because of the Steel Fairy. And this Mega Marwile is going to kill, he's going to kill the Chestnut there as my phone goes off. He's going to kill the Chestnut, but he's going to be knocked down to red health from the Rocky Helmet. So, even though the type disadvantage, Chestnut, yeah, he, he rocked it. He rocked it. So, I bring out Mammoth Swine, thinking I'm going to get a quick kill here. Nope! Ice Fang missed. Well, that was great. Nice seeing you, Nelly. Nice that you turned up. Ice Fang missed. I was, abs I was so angry. I was so angry when that happened. But I bring out Mega Manetric. I probably should have done that from the start, to be honest. Because the Intimidate just ruins it. And I outspeed it anyway. Go Volt Switch. Knowing it's going to kill it. And I get a free switch in. Although he gets to see what the switch is anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But I just didn't want to keep Mega Manetric in. So I bring in my other tanky man. I bring in the Stickers. The Gudra. As he got his elbow drips going on. And he brings in Mary Lance. The Azumarilla. So I just go for the Sludge Bomb. Uh, I'm surprised I outspeeded, outsped him. I'm really not sure how I outsped him. But he goes for the play rough. I survived that as well. I'm not sure if his team was EV trains now, looking at this. Because that should have killed me. Or at least done more damage than that. So if his team wasn't EV trains, I, I feel bad about it now. But either way, he goes for the return here. As I go for the protect, just to get leftovers back up. You know, leftovers, pro leftovers protect, leftovers just standard stuff. Go for another Sludge Bomb. That's exactly why I have Sludge Bomb on the Gudra, just for Fairy types. And he gets poisoned as well. Goes for you. Goes for a turn again. Don't know why he went for a turn rather than Play Rough. Play Rough would have just done decent damage against all my team, no matter what, because of that huge power. But a poison's going to come out, and the Azumarill's going to go down to the Gudra. Gudra's good. Gumi's not good. Sligoo's not good. Gudra is good. Not God, but good. So he brings in Talonflame, and no matter what, no matter what, Talonflames are always a threat. Went for the Brave Bird straight away, 
don't know, I could have predicted the protect, to be honest, and gone for a sword dance or bulk up. But he goes for another Brave Bird, not much I can do. I don't really, really feel like switching out Gudra, because he's done what he needs to do, basically. But Brave Bird kills off the Gudra there. Not even worried. Not even worried about it. He gets hurt by the recoil. I bring out my net trick here. My net trick is a good, or Mega Man trick anyway, is a good check to Talonflame. Because if it goes for Priority Bird, it's going to get weakened by the Intimidate. And then it's going to get weakened even more because it's flying against Electric. And you can finish off with Thunderbolt. And if it goes for a Flare Blitz, it's got the Intimidate on it as well. And if you're at a decent health level, it probably won't kill you. Unless it's Life Orbed. In which case, it's going to get smacked with Life Orb damage and Recoil damage. And then you can bring in a Revenge Killer. But Mega Man Electric's a good check for Talonflame. Anyway, brings in the Scrafty. I just go for T-Bolt again. Don't really care about Mega Man Electric at this point. He's got done what he needs to do. Goes power up punch. And I survived. Oh, this guy. Person I'm facing has no luck. So I just go for another Thunderbolt to finish off the Scrafty. And at this point, it's pretty much GG. So he brings in the Poe. Yeah, not fast. Pangoro. Don't see him much. Nice to see one in the Wi Fi scene. Thunderbolt takes a Nanta lower than half, though. Like I said, not fast about Mega Man Electric now because I've got the Crobat waiting. And he's just get outspeed everything and go for the Acrobatics as I do now. So, thank you guys for joining me for this battle. The next battle will be against another YouTuber. I'm going to leave that as a surprise for everyone. But this, uh, the next battle and the battle after will still be this team. But after that, it'll be a different team. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Take care.